Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, The protest was small and dignified, numbering at its peak 100. Many of the protesters circling the front of the Opera House, while those with tickets who'd ignored the advice of the Bishop of Cork not to attend, queued for admission. groups had arrived in the city, from Balavurni in the West Cork Weltucht and Ballinspittle in South Cork, both locations where there had been visions of the Blessed Virgin. They joined local protesters, but in turn their protest was followed by students dressed in biblical costume, evidently counter-protesting in favour of the rights of those who wrote and made the film. It all became a little confusing, and there was one moment of anger as a student's placard was torn. This is betraying the biblical Jesus, the historical Christ of the scriptures. You know, Jesus is a person that we can believe in because he's historically valid, not the imagination of some modern day fanatic who wants to give us a Jesus that's just uh, not a real person and not God, definitely. It may convert a lot of people because it is not the Christ, it is not the real Christ. Security searches delayed the start of the film and the auditorium was also checked before the screening began half an hour late. It was nearly three o'clock in the morning when the audience emerged from a film I thought too long overall, though some passages were good and the final scenes would be more inclined to affirm rather than question one's faith. I had thought quite slow and very drawn out, but I can't see why you all, what all the talk was about. People are entitled to object to it. Um, I, I could see why if they'd seen it, they might have objected to it even more. Um, but I still think it was a valid to show the film. He's an important director, it's an important film. It's, it's certainly a sincere film.